This Snowflake topic video is about zero copy cloning. It is one in a series of topic videos to help prepare for the Snowflake Snow Pro course certification exam. If you haven't yet watched my introduction video, I really recommend that you watch it first to get the most out of these video series. There are two really important features in the Snowflake architecture, time travel and zero copy cloning. Both of these are covered somewhat in other topic videos, but there is more detailed information about zero copy cloning that still needs to be covered. Zero copy cloning is a point in time version of data as of the time the clone was made. The clone is metadata only, a pointer to the original data. The clone does not include any of the files from the source. Because only metadata is copied, Zero copy cloning uses no data storage unless and until the data is modified. Tables, schemas, and database objects can be cloned in Snowflake. Specifically, transient and permanent tables can be cloned, whereas temporary and external tables cannot be cloned. Individual external name stages can be cloned. Internal name stages cannot be cloned. Specifically, external name stages that were present in the source when the cloning operation started were, are cloned. A cloned object does not retain any granted privileges on the source object items. Instead, those privileges on the newly created clones must be explicitly granted. For databases and schemas, cloning is recursive. Cloning a database clones all the schemas and other objects in the database, including the internal stages of a table. Cloning a schema clones all the contained objects in the schema. When a database or schema is cloned, any contained pipes that reference an internal, i.e. snowflake, stage are not cloned. However, any pipes that reference an external stage are cloned. The defined data set for cloning can be updated by customers. Modified data is stored as new blocks and as such incurs storage costs. You'll find more topic videos on YouTube and be sure to reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn and let me know if you have any questions or if I can help you on your Snowflake certification journey. Thanks so much.